Hello again, everybody. Um, for anybody who is um, new to ant keeping, maybe found my channel for the first time this year, saw some of the nuptial flight videos and is just starting out, and you've caught a queen. Um, when we had that nuptial flight on Thursday, I caught uh, a few new queens. Um, and the pictures you're looking at here are the queens um, after three days. Um, so I've already got small egg piles with um, all of my queens um, and all of the eggs this year so far are in nice little piles and not spread around all over the place. So um, yeah, so far everything's looking good. Um, I, I'm seeing that the same usual questions coming up on Reddit that I, I see every year. Um, so um, I, I'll answer some of these, even though you haven't asked them. Um, no, you don't need to add anything at all to the tube. You don't, they don't need any food. They don't need any substrate. They don't need any um, thing to play with or do. You can just leave the queen on her own in the test tube. Um, yes, you can look at her. Um, uh, every year I see all these questions about inspecting your queens, that she will eat her eggs, etc, etc. Um, there are some species of ant um, that are very prone to just dying in the um, founding stage and you have to be very very careful with them. Um, Camponotus are one of the most um, sort of infamous for this um, and a lot of ant keeping advice obviously comes from um, people who keep Camponotus and they tend to be very general and spread it to all species. Lacius niger are extremely forgiving. They really, really, very, very rarely eat their brood. You would have to sort of almost disturb them every 10 minutes um, to do that. So yeah, feel, feel free to look at your Lacius niger queen. Um, basically, the only two things that will disturb her are A, tipping the tube. So try to keep the tube level. Don't roll her around in there, make her fall on her back, things like that. Um, and secondly, it's, a, it's not light that disturbs her, it's the change in light levels. So I see questions about red covers or full covers or whatever. None of this really matters. It's just how fast you bring the light up. Um, so you want to try and bring it up slowly. And the only real point to covers, because they will get used to full light, but the problem is that if you have them in full light, or, so they'd have no cover, and then you suddenly change the light levels in that room by switching maybe the light on, you'll disturb your queen because you've suddenly gone from darkness to full light. So it's best if you control her coming out of darkness to light so you can do it gradually and that's why I leave mine covered but th that's the only reason um, so yes you can watch them for as long as you want um, and just bring the light up slowly and don't tip the tube um, and I said this in my starting equipment video Lacey's Niger are tiny little ants although they do get bigger I mean the, the, the nitics the first ants that you get will be absolutely tiny um, so get yourself a good magnifying glass um, basically with magnifying glasses the, the thicker the glass the, the more magnifier it has so I've got this really big solid one here with a massive lump of glass in the middle it, it really works for well for me though and it's got lights that light up um, it did cost me I think it was 12 pounds though but um, yeah um, and finally just for um, a bit of something to do today the sun was shining I went for a little stroll and I thought let's go and see what other species I can find around where I live in London um, so this is the edge of a park just a little grassy area near where I live people take their dogs there and stuff like that it's not even very big but down one side of this park there are some um, large trees and they come quite little way out maybe in places maybe three or four trees deep so I went in sort of under those and had a little look around and discovered some uh, Myrmica nests uh, under there so yep middle of London I can still find Myrmica as well as Lacius flavus um, no idea what species they are. They're, they're very, very difficult. They're going to be probably um, or almost certainly Myrmica rubra or Myrmica ruginodis, but separating those two species is something which is very tricky to do. 
final thing, um, if you do want to know more about Myrmica, which I don't keep, I recommend Antimatters. He he keeps a lot of, he loves his red ants um, and he's very, very knowledgeable on them. So do check out his channel. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.